The beaches of South Croatia were some of the best that we have ever seen. I must admit, we enjoyed a few lazy days by the coast. Each place was simply amazing and we loved sunbathing and getting in the water. Obviously, Louis loved it more than me as there wasn't much trekking involved. But don't worry, it wasn't all we did. We also managed to explore some historic castles and we even met with another traveling couple. We are Lou and Sylph and this is our video of South Croatia. Hello, hello. So we have arrived to the beach uh, on the Markaska Riviera. Can't see it from the park up. It's down there somewhere. We're going to spend a couple of days here because there's loads of beaches to explore. Unfortunately, there's no dogs allowed. So I'm going to walk the dogs this morning and then go to the beach for a couple of hours and then come back to the van. It is cool to be fair. As you can see, it's fully shaded. In the sun, it's probably around 16 degrees. In the shade, I don't know, 10, something like that. It's pretty cool in the van. So, we'll see you on the beach. I always get to do that. You don't want to see me, do you? You want to see this beautiful face. This might be the reason why we gave up everything to travel. Soon, beach, sea, and then I'm sweater. And these are the blackfishes I'm going to look at later underwater. Yeah, we'll see. So cute. She's a bit of a bottle job. She always says she's going to get in and never does. I didn't get one. There's loads of them. Look at them all. I think the pine cones, but Sylvia said the fish. I'm not being for you anything. <laughs> I didn't get in the water once. Once. Once, when it was literally freezing and it was well windy. Yeah, so shut up, Louis. Before that, in Scotland and Wales, I was always first in. Always. Yeah, right. Bottle job. Once, on, when we went get, on holiday in Portugal, off. the only time Louis went in the water in the whole two weeks was when we actually got trapped and had to swim back through the tide because the tide went in. That was the only time Louis went in the sea in two weeks holiday. Yeah. yeah. To be, and that was summer. To be fair, back in them days, I didn't live in a van. So showering was pretty easy. <laughs> Nowadays, I've got to have a wash in the sea and the lakes. Just... Anyway, bye! <laughs> so this is the beach we're going to spend a few hours on. It's called Plaza, Plaza Podrace, something like that. Podrici, something I don't know. Whatever. Looks amazing. It does. It's it a little car. Super. Yeah. Can't wait to get in that water. Yeah, yeah, neither can I, obviously. <laughs> it's, got, it's got a diving board here. And everything. Yeah, I know it's a little pebbly, it looks sandy, but it'll still be great. Nice, won't it? Yeah, I'm sure. It's it about 16 degrees today in the middle of January, so should be a good day. Even though we're getting looks, a lot of looks, like we are crazy people from the locals. <laughs> to be fair, Sylvia's walking around in shorts in the middle of January and everyone looks at her like she's some sort of alien. Um, to be honest, it is very warm and people are literally wearing warm coats. It's way too warm for a coat for us. It's 18 degrees, how much you have Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm the bravest, I'm gonna get in, obviously, for two seconds. See, I wasn't lying, no dogs. So anyway, we've really enjoyed it today, haven't we? Yeah. We'll give you one last whip around. So there you go. So good. Come Even on. though Louis has been boring because he wouldn't get in the water. No, I might get in the water now. Mm -hmm. I go. Sure. But yeah, I'm gonna go and let the dogs out and just walk around the concrete paths with them. And we'll catch you tomorrow where we go and see some more beaches. Yeah, everyone else is wearing big cokes. 
Sylvia's wearing shorts. It's warm. <laughs> it's too warm, you know it's warm. Yeah. You put that camera there? I don't know, it wasn't me. Anyway, today we're going to go to some more beaches further along. So we'll see you there. Look at the view, the sun peeking through. It's absolutely phenomenal, isn't it, Sylvia? It was better yesterday when the sun was shining. Yeah, it's supposed to be clearing up today at 11 o'clock. So we've got an hour. Hopefully it does. Fingers crossed. We're on route to the beach. This one is called Noogle Beach. Now apparently half of it is nudist and half of it is for normal people. <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh, and I'm not allowed to talk about profanities anymore because I got told off in the comments for referring to my didgeridoo as a um, rolling pin. So, sorry if I offended anyone, it's just a joke. So as you can see by the drone footage, we've made it to the beach. Oh my God, it is a beauty. Look at it water in croatia the beach in croatia honestly they're like this everywhere down the coast you've got to got to come to croatia even in january it's like 16 17 degrees today i know i've got my hoodie on but i won't soon and sylvia's already getting ready to sunbathe loving life cheers lola cheers Seriously, look at this one I have put up with. Lazy boots. Twenty minutes walk and they all done in. Seriously, I'm surprised that I have to carry Louis out the mountains when we trek. <laughs> Someone's braving the nudist beach! <laughs> it's freezing! <laughs> Not me! <laughs> Seriously, I know we said it like a hundred times now but everywhere you go in Croatia. Do you want to pull that video any closer to my face? Sorry, I bet that was a scary view for people watching, wasn't it? <laughs> wow. Sorry about that, sorry. Anyway, yeah. as I was the, saying before this Louis Run, sure, I'm is talking. the landscape in Croatia everywhere you go. That's I'm not being funny, right? I get told off all the time for not recording, and then every time I record, what happens? Louis Boutin, because yeah, he they has don't want to, to see your face. a certain they want to center see of that. attention. They want to see this. This is what they're watching Seriously, for. Do you want to, can you see what I have to put up with? Look anyway, at look at the views again. Shoot up, Louis. Look at that. How good is this? How good? Beautiful. What do you think, Louis? Now you can talk, please. Well, Everyone so wants to hear what you've got to say. It's very kind of you to ask. I think it's absolutely splendid. Is it not absolutely beautiful? No, it's absolutely phenomenal. Highly recommend the visit to anywhere in Croatia. This is en route to Dubrovnik. Not like I wanted to tell you that, but obviously Louis has to. Anyway, see you on the beach, hopefully.
So we've arrived as far as we can get with the van to Beach Zagalav or Zagaleg, whatever it's called. And as you can see, the road is absolutely awful like they are in a lot of these places. There's no car parks. Uh, you pretty much have to rough it to get to these places. They are worth it when you get there, but obviously it's a lot of arguing and shouting in the van. So Sylvia's stormed off and I will go and see her on the beach, which is a couple of minutes away. We can drive on that road. Yeah, we can drive on the bloody road. Anyway, see you on the beach. And we're here. We only a couple of minutes walk. This is the beach. A little, a little beauty. As you can see, we're out of season. And with a lot of these beaches, there's a lot of plastic and crap like this, which I assume is cleaned up for the summer for people who want to come here. But this is the view. It's the beauty. Beautiful little beach. That water has got my name over it. The old hobo is back on the beach again. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather be a hobo than live in a van with Louis. That's what comes to these days. As you can see, she's still in a mood. So I'm just going to hang around with Lola today, throw the ball in the water. I ain't getting in it. I've put my toe in it. It is gibbet. So sorry, Lola, but you're going to have to go in. Who's a pretty girl? Go on! Come on, Lola! Come on, then! Come on! Come on! Good girl! Drop! Drop! Wait! Wait! Shake! Good morning. So what are we up to today, Sylvia? We're going to explore a castle. Oh, that's how original. If it's not a waterfall, it's not a beach, it's not a mountain, it's got to be a castle. All, all three <laughs> keep pulling things out the back. <laughs> They're all free and that's how we like it because we're on a budget and we're skint. That's right. But to be honest, we haven't really seen much architecture in here. Not well, yeah, but we're not filmed it. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah, but um, obviously, as we said before, we were going to do some exploring of uh, split, but that didn't work out. So hopefully, this one will be nice. Yeah, I just wanted to clear one thing up because we're getting a lot of comments saying that uh, Lou, you're batting well above your weight. It's, I am Louis. <laughs> And that is Sylvia. So I'm just clearing that up. And uh, yeah, basically, that is that. Show you where we parked up last night. Nice, boss. Very nice. Ooh. Come. Look at that. Little beauty. Very nice little town over there. No one bothers you. It's very nice. Don't be put off by the wild camping in Croatia. Very nice. So more insight into <laughs> Sylvia's brain. Please, please Sylvia, tell the crew. So I started working out again because it's warm and it makes me feel so much better and I put on switch weight on so uh, it's time to do it. Anyway, so I was just telling Louis that when I struggle, you know, like planky or whatever, I like to make up stories and make me feel better. So I now imagine that there is a war going on on the top of my belly and the fat cells are the enemy <laughs> and the muscle cells need to grow in strength and fight the fat cells. So when it struggles, when it's sore, I imagine they kill each other. It helps. It does help. Try it when planking for 30 seconds. It really makes a difference. <laughs> You're an absolute weirdo. Honestly, God. 
So when I do this all the time, that's what I mean. And I, I would call it a creative person, right, Matteo? See you at the castle! We have arrived to Ston Fortress. Getting closer to Dubrovnik now, this place, but look at it. Look at all the way up there. Huge castle walls, and there's a little castle over there somewhere as well. I don't know if you can see it. Over there somewhere. So we're going to go and have a little tour and explore up there. We'll see you up there. Views awesome. So many steps. Ah, look. Ah. Oh, so many. I'm only walking to that. Not a chance I'm going any further. Oh, loads of steps. <laughs> wow. Absolute weirdo. <gasps> That's how many coffees have you had today? It's not the coffees, it's endorphins from working out, working out, working out, working out. <laughs> That's it, squash rocky. Oh, so sorry, baby. So we've made it to the highest point. It's pretty beautiful. I'm not sure it's worth 70 kuna though, is it? Not sure, no. Well, I'll show you the other side where Sylvia is. Right. Right. The views are cool. But as Louis said, 70 kuna, hmm, not sure. But again, it is longer. One of the reviews said five minutes up, five minutes down. Clearly didn't come here. <laughs> I was a bit longer. Yeah. The. Uh... I would say, personally, pretty expensive. I'm hoping to see views like this in Dubrovnik, which will be better, I assume. So, see you soon. Bye. So we are en route to Dubrovnik. Uh, looking forward to it. Looks absolutely awesome just been looking at some pictures and stuff um probably gonna spend a couple of days there so we'll see you there won't we sylvia we will it looks amazing can't wait see you soon so we've now arrived in dubrovnik oh and we're starting at the top gonna work our way down and go and explore inside of the walls a hell of a view. Wait, did I, did I? Wait. Look at that! Tell me that doesn't look good. Come in, Sylvia, and tell them how good it looks. Quickly. Ah. Looks fine, seriously. <laughs> the road wasn't the best. None of the roads for the good views are good, and obviously, Louis didn't want to walk it, but it looks. Spectacular, Looks seriously. good. Hopefully the wind holds off and we can get some nice drone footage as well because yeah. I am well impressed with that. Yeah. What a view. Yeah, looks amazing. So we looked into uh, doing the like, activities on the uh, in the Dubrovnik town centre. So you can walk the walls, but it's 250 kuna per person. Yeah, so that's, that's like 25, 30 quid yeah, so each. It's a bit each. Yeah, so it's a bit pricey. On top of that, if you wanted to do a tour, you can do a Game of Thrones tour, um, King's Landing tour or just a wall tour and uh, that's extra start from 200 kuna so we probably won't do a hider of them just go and explore the city oops so anyway we will see you down there Bye. so 
So as you can see, we are en route to the walls of Dubrovnik and I forgot to tell you up there that we're actually going to meet some people. We're going to meet an American couple called Chris and Katie. I've been speaking to them on YouTube and Instagram and we're looking forward to it, aren't we, Self? We are. We actually haven't met anyone pretty much since we started the journey. Well, since we've been to Europe. So I'm going to chew Chris's head off probably. Yeah. So expect a lot of morning from Louis today because it's very chilly up there. So I presume there will be lots of videos. Look at my forehead. She's a comedian, isn't she? Bless her. Very funny. The funny thing is that actually there's lots of footage of me being funny, but Louis obviously doesn't like to put it in because he wants to be the funny one. Obviously. The funniest I've ever seen Sylvia is when she's like this. <laughs> Tell ya, city's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. But there's a lot of stairs. <laughs> there is a lot of stairs. I told you we were So bring it. your walking boots if you come here. Oh, look at that. Just as just about to, even little things like that. Everywhere, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, the detail everywhere. Awesome, awesome city. Sorry, love? What'd you say? I'm just saying she doesn't want it to be funny. I'm just funnier. Our first Hello. friends! Yeah. <laughs> YouTube meetup. Oh, yes. <laughs> Been speaking on YouTube and Instagram and we just decided to meet up, so. Yeah. yeah. And it's been very great to meet you guys. It's yeah. nice to meet kindred spirits out on the road. Like, <laughs> yeah. Our old friends don't understand what we're doing anymore. They're yeah. just like, you guys are off. Like, you're crazy. <laughs> so we're going to have a little whip round Dubrovnik today. Probably get some coffee and have a good chat. Some, some exploring as yeah. well. Oh. Maybe throw some cabbage at Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> And for anyone who is into Game of Thrones, that is Littlefinger's brothel. There we are. Dirty little git. So, so. We're... <laughs> <laughs> so we're about halfway through our little tour. What do you think? Wow. Yeah. You? Have you got anything? I already said it millions of times, it's absolutely amazing here, seriously. It's such a beautiful place, definitely our favourite city by a mile. Sorry, Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like Edinburgh. We like Come Edinburgh. in the winter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, exactly, yes. yeah, I think yeah. I said yeah. that oh, earlier. No people. No people, yeah, definitely. no one around. Yeah, me, me. So, yeah, we'll head off and tour a bit more. <laughs> so this is the Red Keep. Look! Oh. Recognise it. Awesome. Okay, so we're done here now in Dubrovnik. Uh, it's been a really nice day meeting Chris and Katie. So thank you for showing us around Dubrovnik, basically. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So we're yeah. So we're gonna head to Montenegro tomorrow. Tomorrow. 
fingers crossed we'll make it there because we have no insurance and um, <laughs> we're not sure if our dogs can get in but apparently you can sort them on the border so wish us luck but yeah i just want to say thank you as well to katie and uh, chris they've been amazing our first road trip to friends and hopefully we will be able to meet with them again later on as they staying in balkan countries for a little bit longer too so fingers crossed we'll meet again and well we will see you in montenegro next yeah here, here. If you enjoy the video, leave us a thumbs up, subscribe, all the other YouTube stuff. Oh, and check out these guys. I'll leave a link below in the bio. That's right. Thank you. See you next time. Bye. Shame. Shame. Ah. Shame. Ah. Shame. Ah. Shame.